As politicians fight over the proposed Keystone XL pipeline, millions of gallons of crude oil roll through eastern Nebraska by train. Yeah, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe ships a lot. That's why a community close to Omaha wants more power to prevent any chance of a catastrophe in their backyard. KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts reports from UTAN. Sometimes it's hard to sleep in the Omaha bedroom community of UTAN. And it's not the blast of the horn keeping people up at night. This could become a life safety issue. Millions of gallons of oil roll through town every week. It's a rail shipment with explosive potential, as seen in North Dakota last year. UTAN's fire chief says his volunteer department lacks the equipment to deal with something like that. They have a crew out of Lincoln, so it would take probably an hour before they were able to respond and, and get all the way here to UTAN. Locals say that about a dozen trains come through town every single day, and there's about 16 crossings, we're told, in the district. That's what the fire chief worries about most, because if a train carrying oil collides with a car, he wants to be able to respond quickly. The rail line runs past schools and businesses. Children cross it every day. Andy Williams with BNSF told us over the phone the company pays to train local firefighters and provide them with special equipment to fight oil fires. How old is this truck again? This is a 1995. Just hours before our interview, Chief Rupp submitted a grant request to BNSF requesting $50,000 for training and to upgrade this 19 year old fire truck so it can spray both foam and water. We're taking a proactive approach to this. Um, we just want to be prepared. We understand we can't be prepared for everything, but we feel there's equipment out in training out there that would improve our response to something here in town. Something may never happen, but if something does, seconds may matter. In Utah, Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now, BNSF says it's already trained 57 Nebraska firefighters to deal with train related emergencies. Now, an update from Bill.